Hi, I'm Tony. This is Tapatia, a 31 foot 8 junk rigged schooner Benford Dory. Um, join us, and along the way, we'll show you how we go about turning her into a cruising sailboat and then head off and explore the world's oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, and canals. Well, we've got three boxes arrived from, from SVB, um, bought here by UPS. They were left under the balcony, very nice. Um, three boxes, and when I picked them up, that was laid underneath there, which is rather curious. That's a, a fitting, the tank hose fitting. Anyhow, should be the tanks. Two of them are tanks. The other one, I'm going to guess, is fittings. There's certainly not much in it. It's got the weight of, a, of an empty cardboard box. So let's have a look. What we've got for money here. In here, excitingly, there's a lot of paper. And bag of fittings. Oh, okay, those must be the fillers, must not they? Those must be the fairly large fittings, inch and a half by the looks of it, I'm guessing. And other than that, nothing. Good, chuck that out of the way. Let's go for the small one. Must be the smaller of the two tanks. That is most certainly a tank. And some fittings by the sounds of things. So that's the tank. I'm going to put that cardboard box up there. And two fittings. That I'm going to guess that's the other one from there. That's it. That one's. If you come up here, Karen. Okay. Look in there. You see, at the moment they're all blanked off. I guess you drill out which ones the ones you want to use. Or is that. Now that one is the pickup pipe that goes all the way down to the bottom. Those two are blanked off, so you use them as you wish. That's a cap for the, for the filler. And so those two you can use as you wish. So that's the, the takeout, the out, and these will be a vent or a connection to the other tank maybe. So I'm just going to stand it out the way. See what we've got here. Ah, no, there was another fitting, a bigger one. I'm going to guess three quarters. They look like half inch, and that looks like a three quarter off the top of my head. And this obviously is the bigger tank. So that's 100 litres, the other one's 70 litres. And in here we have just two fittings. This is interesting. Okay, that's all we've got in there, two fittings. One of the bigger ones. 
and one cap. So I guess that one that was loose on the bottom was out of that one, in which case we've got one small one, one big one, and one cap in each box, which is all right because you probably get your own fittings for a mini here. Okay, and then that bag has got a right angle and a straight connector, which will fit on there where that cap is. One of, however. Interesting. One of for two tanks. Uh huh. Most certainly one of for two tanks. That's interesting. Okay, so let me move that out of the way. I'm going to climb in there. Oh, it's raining outside, so shoes are wet, which means they pick up sawdust, and then I'm treading it in here. Good. We're in. Just take that out there. See if that is going to fit. It should do. If, the, if it's the measurements they say it is, it'll fit. want to come up on there Karen okay so that fits in there beautifully beautifully you see the forward bunk under construction here look I've got the, got the various pieces support pieces inch and a half square dug fur supports um, good would you mind just cutting for a tick and pass me that other tank and there they are they're, <laughs> they fit in there perfectly that that is just complete coincidence luck but let's from that bulkhead to the to the batten on the bottom of this bulkhead that tank is tight in there that's amazing so i just need to put a batten across in there to fill that gap out and something across the top of them and they're, they're fixed in place <laughs> Been the most incredibly busy week um, not all boat work unfortunately we've uh, been doing a lot of reorganization in the house we've moved Kerry downstairs moved my office upstairs including uh, the moving or the shifting of my very very big and very very heavy desk
And then, um, yeah, well, we've done quite a bit in here. As you see down here, we've got the, the forward bunk in place uh, with the fixed boards, two fixed boards either side and three lift out boards up the middle there. Um, the boards still need finger holes to make them a bit easier to lift out, but um, as a state of play, I can, get that one out. I can get that one out, can't I? So that's still empty in there, no mast step as yet, but ready to go. Stand that up there, right? This one lifts out. Still waiting on the bilge paint from Benkeder away on their summer holidays at the moment. So I should come next week, the bilge paint. And let me just lay that out of the way. And then when we look in here, we'll see, stand that one up there, water tanks in position. So they're not finely fixed in because I want to take them out to, to paint the bilges, but uh, they're located. They were sold, firstly, I should say, they were sold as a 100 litre tank and a 70 litre tank. But written on the tanks, it says they're 110 litres, and that one says 80 litres. That's very nice. That gives us 190 litres, obviously. I fitted wooden battens that go down in, in these, these slots. They're epoxied and screwed in position, so the, the tanks locate very nicely in there. They're completely, completely fixed. I put some pieces of dug fur underneath them so they don't sit on the bottom of the boat so water can still drain through to the limber holes under there. I'll just put something across the top to, to fix them when they're finally in place. But they go in there very, very nicely. I'm, I'm happy with that. So that's the water tanks in position. I say, boards cut from half inch ply. As you might notice, it's a half inch ply that we did the lofting on. These first two have been epoxy coated, both sides, just to give them a little bit more protection. There we go. Yeah. Third one still needs doing, but they go in there nicely. And now, of course, it's much, much easier to get in and out of the boat, because as you can tell, you can stand on this bit and, and climb in and out. That's nice. So, I shall do exactly that now. Oh, perhaps I should just say that Elizabeth, of course, vacuumed, well, Elizabeth and I, in truth, vacuumed through the whole boat. So, we've got to basically clean now um, for working on. And we've started thinking about the engine. So, I'm just going to climb out and we'll have a quick look at the engine. Yeah, so here we are. This is, this is the engine set up as it is. Um where to start. I bought this engine from a, a company in England called Marine Enterprises Limited, second hand, uh, with the sail drive and with the engine bed. Um, I should say, so I bought the engine and the sail drive and when I was talking to the owners, a fellow called Sean, very, very pleasant, nice to deal with. He said that they had an engine bed, a, an old engine bed in the garage somewhere in the shed that he threw in for a fair price in with the deal so it's arrived like this and well it didn't arrive like this it arrived separately and we've put it together now to see how it fits thinking about you know preparing to put it into the boat and there's a little bit of an issue as you might tell engine we've mounted the sail drive on the back obviously first of all i built these beautiful wooden blocks to, to raise it up so we could get the the sail drive on the back um, but when we stand it on the engine bed, it's quite clear that this is not the right engine bed for this engine. And in fact, down here it says 2040 or 32. So, and this, as you can tell, is a, the MD 2010. So I'm pretty confident this is the engine bed for the MD 2040 or the 2032. And it doesn't really fit for this. Um, so I phoned Sean at Marine Enterprises. And he said uh, that there's an adapter kit and he recommended putting it in there, setting it up, having a look, and maybe I can make the, uh, the adapter plates myself or maybe I'll buy the kit from Volvo. Um, so that's what we've done. 
So set it up on the block so as it's high enough to get the cell drive in there. We drop the cell drive down in the hole, um, put the cell drive onto the engine, and we've set it up now with some wooden blocks just to try and get the level that I think it should be. And if you come in here, Karen, um, you see, look at the back there. You see, what I've ended up, I've ended up raising the back end about two inches. And I'll come down here. The, the, the deciding factor is getting this diaphragm to sit right. So that the bell housing here needs to clear the diaphragm and it's got to sit about, about the right angle. And I, I think this is where she wants to be. So about five centimeters, two inches higher at the back and two to three centimeters, maybe an inch higher at the front to get that angle right for that diaphragm. Um, so that, that's not particularly difficult. These two holes from the back mounting do line up perfectly with the holes in the engine bed. That's fine, but here you'll notice that these two holes for the front engine mountings don't even nearly line up. Um, so that needs an adapter plate that screws to these holes in the engine bed coming around to give us something to screw those forward mountings to. Um, yeah, I say I'll look into the Volvo kit if there is one. If not, I shall make it myself. Uh, yeah, then the other thing I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, is that this height of this engine bed at the moment is too high. I think we need, if we look on the sail drive, you can see it's a second hand engine and sail drive. You see where it protruded, I don't know if you probably can't see that, but where it protruded through the old boat is about that level. So I'm pretty sure that we need to cut this engine bed off around there somewhere. And of course, the, the, the aft end of the boat isn't horizontal, it comes up, so we need to cut it with, with, it needs to be higher at that end and lower at that end, so the engine bed sits in horizontally and the engine sits at the right angle. So we're looking at it, thinking about it, measuring, and uh, I'm actually, apart from the fact that it's obviously not the right engine bed, I'm actually quite pleased with progress that we've got this set up and we can see where we stand. So um, thinking about getting the engine fitted in the boat. It's good stuff. I think we're coming. <laughs> Just 